here with UMC head women's basketball coach Mike Roisland. You know, you guys have, go into the break with a lead, uh, but second half uh, offense just kind of struggled. I think about five minute stretch, you only scored two points, probably ultimately contributes to the loss tonight. But just what are some of the things you saw against a uh, you know NCAA Division One opponent in North Dakota State tonight? Well, I, I mean, I, I thought we did some things well, and I didn't. And, and obviously, on the other side, you know, there's a lot of things we wish we could have done a whole lot better. I thought we hit kind of a, a lull spot, like you you'd mentioned, about a five minute stretch there. Where, where we just didn't move the ball well enough on offense, and then I, th I thought we were just settling defensively instead of, and we made some really ill-advised fouls in the backcourt, which put them on the free throw line. I mean, they, they had eight free throws that they made that were in, you know, were fouls on our part in the back backcourt. So they were kind of senseless fouls that gave them the, the confidence, and I thought that it was just, we just were in a stretch there. Where we kind of settled for okay, well, we're everybody standing around looking at the next person to see who's going to get things done. But, but ultimately, I think there's a lot of good things that we can build on from this. I thought there was at times that we did an awful lot of good things, Sean. So uh, it's one of those things we need to learn from it. We need to we need to move forward with it. But, but uh, you know, you know, when we when we do things right, we can play with a lot of people. So we just we just got to keep keep it getting after it and see what we can do on Saturday. Get a solid game tonight from Alexa Thielman. Seems to really made, has, have made progress from her freshman year to, what, 20 points tonight. Just talk about what Lex was able to do today. Well, I think, you know, Lex is able to get, to get into the gap. And, but one of the things I, you know, I thought that, you know, I, I'm happy for the way that she played and I thought she can really build on what she played because she made a lot of poor decisions tonight too. So if she can get that figured out to really make a lot of a lot of better decisions, her game is going to improve as, as well too. But, you know, uh, we need to get do a better job of moving the ball. Obviously the ball's got to go through through Katrina. I mean, we got to get her and get her touches and, and, and make cuts and, and break break off that. And I think our kids are willing to, to do what it takes to win. It's just that we got to, we got to do it for 40 minutes. I mean, I thought that, like you said, five minute stretch here. And we got a whole different ball game. I thought our kids found some more energy at, at the end, but but obviously not enough right at the beginning or right during that stretch. Okay, thanks, Mike. You bet.